Hi, this is Karma Kids Yoga. Hi, Hi people. people! Today we'll be playing some yoga jenga. Okay, who's doing first turn? Okay, go for it, honey. So the idea with Yoga Jenga is you have normal Yoga Jenga blocks and you write the name of a pose on the block. Spider. And then they all have to do the pose when it's pulled out. And then the person who chose the block will choose the person who they think is doing the best version of the pose to have the next turn. Just point, don't say names. Okay. No, just let, just hold on to it, darling. Okay, next block, what's it going to be? Quite often we play this game with two or three blocks of Jenga blocks going at once so that people can get a turn more quickly. Crooked tree. Crooked tree. Crooked tree is one we kind of made up. It's tree pose, but any shape you want to make, as long as your body is only standing on one leg. That's the only rule. Who's she going to choose for the next person? What a surprise. <laughs> How did we guess? Okay, next block, what will it be? <laughs> we can't topple the tower yet, it's too early. Oh, she got it. I can see it moving. It's a tense moment. Oh, she did it. Good. Hero pose. Can we do flying hero? You can be a flying hero if you want. Yes! Flying hero is not an actual yoga pose, just so that the people watching know. This is another one that we added on. Hero pose with flying. Point to who you want. Okay, next one. Oh, well done. Well, it's a bit wobbly. She got it. Eagle warrior. Eagle warrior. We've just done eagle warrior in another vinyasa video, which you can find on this channel. So you must have the warrior legs, a nice lunge pose. Well done. Who's next? Table. Table, nice and easy. Table pose. Remember to look for your alignment. So your arms are in a straight line from your shoulders down to your hands. Hips are in a straight line down to your knees. Very good. All right, who's next? <laughs> Is it a bit wobbly? Turtle pose. If you can get your head down to your feet on turtle pose, you're doing really well. <clears throat> this is a good one yeah. for adults to do with kids because quite often the adults will get their head down to the feet, can't get their head down to the feet, but the kids can. <clears throat> Okay, what's going to be next?
Ooh, it's getting harder to choose. It's quite wobbly, this deck, isn't it? Oh, she got it. What's it say? Which one is it? Bow. Bow pose. Sometimes we call this parachute pose because we use it when we're pretending to open a parachute. It's going to hold on to your toes and try and lift your chest off the floor. <laughs> As you can hear from all the grunting and groaning, it's... A tricky pose. It requires some work. Is it the structural integrity that we need? Lotus pose, nice and simple. Yeah, you can try it properly with your feet crisscrossed if you can. These are our big year sixes giving it a go. Okay, who's up next? two ways to do camel you can do it the easy way where you hold on to the back of your legs or you can see some of the yogis showing you the correct way to do it which is reaching all the way back to your heels <laughs> but this is very uncomfortable for some people a back bend make sure you've warmed up before you do this kind of back bend the yogis have already done a full class before we started filming this so they're nice and warm Okay, who's next? If you find the back bend uncomfortable, you can put a stack of books or some yoga blocks behind you so that you can put your hands onto the blocks and not have to go all the way down to your heels. Right, which warrior are we doing? Warrior one. Arms up in the legs. Giant number one. Okay, here's our big yogis. <laughs> nice lunge. Want nice wide legs. Front leg is bent. A nice lunge shape. Okay, who's up next? Who are you going to choose? Okay, so in Sphinx pose, what we're looking for is that the yogis are pushing their head up towards the ceiling as though there is a string pulling their head up out of their shoulders, not letting the head and neck sink into the shoulders during the pose. Well done, team. Who's up next? I think we've got time for a couple more. Can we keep the tower up before the video ends? There's a big hole in the middle now. Butterflies. So let's do normal butterfly first. 
So butterfly is a lovely hip opening pose. Soles of the feet together, very gently bouncing the knees. Some of the yogis might wish to show you a big butterfly pose where you, where you extend the legs, stretching the hamstrings. If you're going to try the big butterfly, it's very important if you're doing this at home to make sure that there's nothing behind you that you may hit your head on if you fell over. Okay, next up. Happy baby pose. If you are a happy baby, if you are a happy baby, you wouldn't be saying wah, wah, wah. You'd be saying goo, goo, ga, ga. Okay, next. Okay, who's up next? I think this is going to be our lucky last one now. We've managed to keep the tower going, although it has got a big hole in the middle. <laughs> Triangle, trikonasana, nice and easy. <laughs> What am I looking for with your feet, yogis? Yeah, that's right, Dan. So we have one foot pointing out to the side. So that is our game of yoga jenga. Does everyone want to wave bye?